Hello and welcome once again to Cheap Shot Entertainment. Quick shot reviews, more likely, because this is the dedicated movie channel for Cheap Shot Entertainment, the overarching family of channels run by me, Luke, for you, the Cheap Shot Nation. Been to the cinema again today? Of course, this is why we're here. And we've been to see, nope, um, I thought for the most part this film was very, very good. Um, certainly falls into the same trap as most modern films, and I, I will keep repeating this, it's too long. It, it drags a little bit. Uh, the premise, though, is just, it's insane. Um, you know, obviously it's another big release by Jordan Peele, uh, you either love him or you hate him or you're indifferent. Um, I heard, overheard a couple uh, talking about how much they dislike this movie and how much they dislike Jordan Peele movies in general. Well, if you dislike his movies, why go to this one? Um, probably got a cinema card like me. Just go and see whatever whatever's out. I was looking forward to this. I've seen previews of it for a very long time. It had a really good setup. Most of the stuff was um, given away in the previews, which is always a concern for me. Um, especially when you're in the cinema and you're a captive audience, you can't not watch the trailers because they're there. Um, well, yeah, for the most part, really good movie. Um, I, I'm indifferent with Jordan Peele movies. I think they're very, generally very good. Um but I'll get into the meat and potatoes of this review on the main part of the video. If you've seen Nope, then please do leave us a comment in the comments section or join us on social media, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, without further ado, let's move into the main part of the video and I'll see you there. film directed by Jordan Peele released in 2022 uh, like I say Jordan Peele is one of those um, directors that's uh, that can split an audience right down the middle he's either got you in the clutches uh, of the palm of his hand or you're just nowhere near uh, and I find his movies tend with me personally they tend to have me in the palm of his hand and then lose me and then bring me back and then leave me and bring me back. It's very, it's more, very much a roller coaster ride for me with Jordan Peele movies. That being said, I do like Jordan Peele movies. Um, I love Get Out and um, Buzz, again, two very similar films to this. He definitely has a narrative that he wants to get across and it is. Um, you know, about oppression and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tends to use generally uh, black actors, um, you know, of, of um, black descent, African descent, whatever you want to call it, and uh, mix in some other cultures as well with that. But generally, the actors, actresses are very, very good. Um, but, yeah, let's go down the... Um, description of this on IMDB it says after a random object falling from the sky results in the death of their father uh, played by David Allen Greer uh, ranch owners siblings uh, OJ and Emerald Haywood attempt to capture video evidence of an unidentified flying object with the help of a tech salesman Angel Torres and a documentarian Terrian Antlers Holst. Uh, now, this is where it gets a bit interesting because 
Um, it's not a straight out UFO movie. It's completely. I would I would say I would go as far as to say this is quite original in the way it's done. Um, both sides of the unidentified flying object movie uh, are apparent here: the alien monster and the ship. Um, which you know, if you've seen the trailers, you'll see something that resembles a, a UFO, a ship, or whatever you want to call it, um, and it will split audiences down the middle. Um, ultimately, I found this to be really interesting. The setup took a lot longer than it probably should have, and it probably lost most of the audience. Um, I thought eventually, when the reveal comes, the setup is very much needed. There are some elements that are not needed here, or at least not needed to drag things out. Um, but characters introduced that did need to be there to drive the story forward. Um, so it stars Daniel Kaluuya playing OJ, uh, Kiki Palmer playing Emerald, uh, Brandon P Piria playing Angel Torres, Michael Winship playing Antlers Holst, Stephen Yoon playing Ricky Duke, uh, Park, of course, um, of uh, Walking Dead fame. Uh, Ren... Oh, it's not David Allen. It looks like David Allen Green. It's definitely not. It's Keith David who plays Otis Hay Haywood Sr. My bad. Uh, Ren Schmidt plays Amber Park. You don't see much of her. She is the wife of uh, Ricky and uh, that's pretty much it. it tends to have very small casts main casts uh, and then lots and lots of uh, fillers um, so yeah that is basically your main cast it, like I say it's written and directed by Jordan Peele um, it Again, like I say, it will split audiences right down the middle. But I really enjoyed this. It does, and it can miss a mark for some people. Um, you know, it, it's it's a bit like an M. Night Shyamalan thing where he will, like I say, he will capture one person but completely alienate others. Pun intended. Uh, generally, the critic reviews are decent with this one. Uh, he has a very, very unique uh, directing style that's just, again, pun intended, out of this world. Um, uses long, sprawling shots, very empty landscapes as far as it goes, because this is in a uh, an inward set part of California uh, at, a, at a horse ranch which will play out throughout the story as to what the reason is for that particular setting um, and it's just yeah like I say I really enjoyed it I wouldn't call this a horror movie necessarily I'd probably go more with the sci-fi thriller route um, but uh, yeah, it seems to be getting decent reviews. Like I say, the uh, the, the the horror elements are less than the sci-fi elements here, and uh, it all goes based on you know if you don't look at a at a predator, it won't try and get you basically. Um, so yeah, I think. If you're, how to say this, like I, like I always say, if you want to go and watch this film, if you're a fan of Jordan Peele, you'll love this. If you're a fan of sci-fi, it you, may be quite derogative for you. Uh, fan of horror, again, same thing. Um, go into it with an open mind. Keep yourself awake because it's a long movie. It's a very long movie. Uh, like I say, it does fizzle out 
in between and like I say for me uh, Jordan Peele movies are like a roller coaster they all have go up and down and up and down and up and down there are some things that you think could they have been left for the Blu-ray extras could it have just been explained um, that that was the case I mean some of it is not relevant to the story at all which is why it gets a, a lower rating for me but generally I think the rating for me on this one is go see it make up your own mind uh, like I say it will split an audience down the middle uh, some will come out absolutely loving it others will not um, and that's just the way that modern movies are um, don't have anything planned coming up but no doubt we I will go and watch something next week. Um, it will be a plan of some kind. Well, there's lots of horror movies tend to come out over over summer, so I'll probably end up going to watch another one of those. And uh, of course, you will be the first to know because I will do a review on it, or at least a rambling, because I never like to give away the endings. Um, like I say, connect with us, join us on social media. If you're listening to this on the podcast, thank you. It's a very new thing um, from something I did before in lockdown uh, regarding wrestling and interviewing wrestlers and stuff like that, which was fantastic. Um, I might go back to that at some point as an extra thing for the channel, but for the now, um, it's very much recording movie reviews. I love my movies, love going to the cinema, and... You guys are awesome. You are the Cheap Shot Nation. I've been your host, Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.